Welcome for a fantastic cockpit flight on board of Europe's first ever registered PC-12 NGX, the latest aircraft produced by Swiss plane maker Pilates. At this point in time, this aircraft is only three weeks old and aircraft owner Uli generously takes us for a great tour consisting of three flights in total. So first have a look into this business jet-like superb cabin and during the flight you will get a lot of fantastic explanations of the aircraft, of the systems and of his passion for flying by Uli. Good morning everybody. I, I, I greet you for the flight from Frankfurt Egelsbach, Echo Delta, Foxtrot Echo to Mönchengladbach, which is Echo Delta Lima Victor. And uh, Axel and I um, are friends since a long time. I have been flying since four years. I've been flying, uh, I've learned on the Cessna 172 and then uh, transferred to a Cirrus SR22 Turbo. And now uh, just recently I bought the new PC12 NGX and um, I'm still a newbie on this plane, but slowly, slowly getting there. Axel is just in the process of getting uh, of studying for the theory exam for his PPL and um, I invited him today to go to Mönchengladbach to check out a Kodiak Quest which could be a potential uh, turbine airplane for his time after he achieved his PPL rating. So completely new for me and um, it's actually challenging to sit here because this is not just a big plane it's always a very pretty plane and I thank you so much Uli to take me with you. No problem. Um, we're going to go through the checklist to the PC 1247E short checklist. Um, Axel has not done it before so I'll explain him briefly uh, how he has to do it so he can support me in my flight. I fly the plane today single hand because Axel does not have the rating, doesn't have the PPL yet, he doesn't have his radio license so I'll be flying single hand but I'll be using uh, best resources so I'm meaning I'll be using him as a help as well. So what you do is, for example, you, do, you say cockpit preparation and then you say flight control lock, okay. removed and stowed, emergency com one switch, norm, our warning on, and when you're finished, you say cockpit preparation checklist finished, next, before starting okay. engine. Okay. okay? You tell me when we start. Okay, go ahead. Hold on. Uh, yeah, go ahead. So cockpit uh, preparation, flight control lock, removed and stowed. Hold on. Checked. Emerge com one switch. Norm. Norm. Checked. Oral one inip switch on. Checked. LH mic select switch check mic. Checked. ELT armed guarded. Checked. You can do it quicker. Okay. Uh, and L follow with your finger so you don't forget anything. LH circuit breakers check in. Left hand circuit breakers. They are all in, up and down. Checked. Parking brake handle set push pedals. Checked. Ice protection in, in inert sap off as required. Checked. Landing gear selector. Checked down. down. Max oct uh, main oxygen lever on. Checked. Crew oxygen mask. Check 100%. Check. Need them, huh? ACS, ECS, CPCS. Check. Switches auto. Checked. RH mix select switch. Check mic. You have to. There's a knob behind you in shelter. Is okay. it on? Is it on mic? Behind you. This is on mic. Yeah, okay, mic check, select. Yeah, check, yes. it's on mic. Uh, RH circuit breakers. Check in. Right hand circuit breakers. We have to check here if they are all in. And there's some more down at your knee. Hold on. Uh, move your knee a bit. You got big legs. Okay, they're all in. Okay, check. Uh, da, da, da. Trim interrupt switch. Check off. Checked. Um, flap interrupt switch. Norm Checked. guarded. Checked. Power control lever idle detent. Checked. Flaps zero. Checked. Cockpit instrument, cabin light switches off. Checked. Um, fuel firewall shutoff lever, fully Checked. in. LDH emergency Checked. release, stowed and closed. ACS firewall Checked. shutoff lever, fully in. Fuel pump switches auto. Checked. Engine switch off. Checked. Ig ignition switch auto. Checked. External light switches off. Checked. PAX warning switches Checked. off. EPS switch off. Checked. Master power switch on and guarded. Checked. Check condition of guard. Checked. BAT one plus two standby bus X, X power off center. Checked. AV one two Gen one two check on position. Checked. Cabin bus. Checked. Okay, cockpit preparation is done now. Before starting engine. Go ahead. Pre-flight inspection completed. Checked. Standby bus switch on. Checked. 
Display reversion control set. Check. ATIS startup clearance received. Standby short. Now we have to ask, since we are on an IFR flight, we now have to ask um, the airport to allow us to to allow us to start up the plane. Makes sense, yeah. We're still missing some passengers, so what time do we have? 11.38, we have to be in the air at uh, 12 o'clock. So, so it's a bit too early, so we continue with the checklist, but before we start the engine later on, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get the clearance. Okay, the so the ATIS starter will receive later. FMS programming completed. That's what we're gonna do now. We're waiting for the system to boot. That's why I put on the standby bus. It gives us some battery, not the whole power of the battery, because otherwise we would run down the battery, but on the standby bus we can use the avionics for a long time. And uh, we're waiting for them to spool up and then we're gonna put in the flight plan which I have on my mobile phone. I've planned with Garmin Pilot actually. There's another program where I could transfer it directly into the system, but I don't have the knowledge about this new system yet. So I'm still using my old tool, Garmin Pilot. Okay, the system is ready. We are leaving origin Echo Delta Foxtrot Echo and we're going to Echo Delta Lima November, which is Mönchengladbach. Gladbach. Echo Delta Lima November, that's correct. And alternate is Echo Delta Delta Lima. That's the alternate airport, so in case something is wrong in Mönchengladbach, Gladbach, we have another airport which we have already planned to go to. And now it's time to put in the waypoints because when we fly IFR and not DFR, so when we fly instrumental rules, we cannot go wherever we want. We have to follow what has been pre-planned for us and what ATC, so air traffic control, tells us. So now I'm not only putting in the starting airport and the final airport, but I'm putting in a lot of waypoints on the way, um, which actually tells us the exact way where to go. And we cannot deviate from this way, neither in the horizontal nor in a lateral um, way. Uh, so the first point is Lisku, and after Inla we have we yes. join a highway, an airway, which is called T853. When I say three, that's uh, how you how you pronounce three in uh, aviation English. So you always say three and not three. I don't know why. I think it's uh, just for better communication. And uh, T853 we follow until Gesby, yes. <coughs> and then. That's done, so we can send that. We can actually activate it. And then the takeoff, we have to see which runway is open. I can't see that from here because the wind is very low, so it can be either runway. I believe it must be runway 08, but this is what we're gonna hear. We're gonna hear later, I guess, huh? Oh, I'm just gonna call them this way, you know. Just so to be now, okay. So runway 26, we're going to put in runway 26. This is a VFI airport, so we don't have any departures. Runway 26, we've planned that. And we activate the flight plan. And we send the speeds, so we know which climb speed we have. And now we're actually going to call, pre-call Mönchengladbach which is, uh, sh because we have a very short flight, I call them now and see which run which uh, runway is open, hoping that once we arrive, that um, they will not change the, the It's runway. about 33 minutes, that's what I saw. Exactly, so that's right. nothing. Just Servus, yeah. liebe Joe. Können Sie mir sagen, welche Runway gerade bei Ihnen offen hat? T13, danke, ciao. Now I put the arrival in there, which I'm most likely we're gonna get vectors, so they're gonna uh, actually tell us which heading to fly until uh, we reach the final. So I just put in vectors, uh, maybe they give us an arrival, later on, but that's uh, to be seen. So program is finished. Continue the checklist, please. Okay, EPS switch, tested and armed. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's emergency power system. And I've armed it, yes. Battery one and two switches on. Battery one and two switches are on. Um, EPS on indicator, check off. The red indicator is off, yes. Okay. The EPS, by the way, is emergency power system. So if the you said off, it's armed, is it? No, no. But uh, there was a red light on the EPS on, and I that see. red light is gone I now. Uh, and external power, if available, on. We don't have any external power. Uh, seats adjust, adjust and locked. Okay. What you can do is now, when you look, you see the little white and the blue dot here. Yes. This one here. They should be approximately in one line. I always sit a little bit higher. Are they approximately in one line when you look over this one? Yes. Okay, that's good. Then your seat is good. It's and you're buckled up, and I have to buckle up as well. Okay.
Leute, reinkommen! Das ist hier Kabellage, ja? Ja. Die Kabellage, die legen wir mal anders hin. Okay. Sekunde. Seat belts fastened. Checked. Landing gear checked three greens. Checked. Fuel quantity suff sufficient checked. and balanced. 1803, checked. Uh, fire one test switch, push and check. Fire one test switch is one, two, four, five, six, seven lights, checked. Um, CAS, haben wir gesagt, lamp test Let switch. Let me turn off my phone, I should have done that previously. It's my wife, I have to answer it. Yeah, Nette? Mach ich, wir fliegen aber noch nicht los. Jetzt gerade beim Axel macht Pre-Flight. Grüße. Ja, schön groß euch zu sein. Wir fliegen aber gleich los. Ich liebe dich, wünsche dir einen schönen Tag. Ups. Okay, schon weg. Alles klar. Für ein Movie. Lamp Test Switch, Push and Check. Uh, Lamp Test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Check. Das haben wir gesagt. Uh, dann andere Seite, Oxygen Presser, Pressure. Uh, Pressure Gauge. Checked. Below 850. Uh, Packs Oxygen Selector. On Auto. Auto. Checked. Uh, direct Vision Window. Close and checked. Uh, closed and locked. Uh, radios oh, and avionics me. set as required. Uh, checked. We have on COM2 the ground frequency and we have the uh, the info frequency before start and we're going to get the frequency of ATC when advised after start in just a short while. Okay, this is done, but uh, I think now we check the... Is, is anybody there? Everybody, yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, next one. Engine starting. Okay, we have to get the clearance. Hold on. Yes, right. Servus Alpha flight to Echo Delta Lima November. Uh, 6 POB request startup in front of uh, Hangar 16. Now we're waiting for the startup clearance so that we're allowed to start up the engine. Park brake is set. And you have the before starting engine, right? Axel, you have the before starting engine. We have... No, Be we just have this left. Okay, good. We just wait for the clearance. Actually, just continue. We can continue already. We can start. Engine up. starting. Continue. Uh, where did? Where were you before? We have. We, we, we are done. We are done with all of that. We just have the um, A to start. Clearance. clearance. Okay, then you do uh, engine starting. Right. So engine starting. External lights as required. Checked. Now in beacon. Uh, propeller area confirm clear. Left side clear. Right side clear. Um, cast window. Check. Follow with the finger. Follow with the finger so you don't. Know cast that. window. Check no red. That's all fine. Battery one, battery one, two indicators. Check minimum 24 VDC. Checked. Uh, engine switch run. Checked. Checked. Uh, fuel window. Check pump. Kept Pumps are both uh, active. Starter switch push uh, momentarily. Checked. And now the engine is starting. Start is approved and standby shot. Yeah. Oil pressure check rising. Oil pressure is rising. Check. Uh, MG 60%. Check. Uh, we actually have a FADEX system on the new PC12. So normally I have to do a lot of supervision. Here I don't. I just have to see if the ITT, the internal turbine temperature, goes too high. I have to switch off momentarily. But otherwise I just have to s push one button and sit and watch. <coughs> but that's what they say here ITT monitor. Uh, MG stable above uh, 50%. Check. Uh, engine instruments stable in green range. Checked. Um, gen generators 1, 2, check walls amps. Checked. Uh, fuel reset soft key. Check. Push to reset. Send by shot. Leave Egelsbach on the Delta routing. Uh, on the, uh, leave Egelsbach via runway 08 on the Yankee routing. And uh, QNH 1018 initially not higher than 1500 feet. Squawk 3721 when advised 120805. 6 POB. Now we have been advised a transponder, which is T721, T721, which you're going to put in. And when advised, the next frequency will be 120805, 120805. Enter, so we have 120805, and we have uh, the transponder T721. We set the altitude that we shall not um, um, overshoot, which is 1500 feet on a QNH of 1018, which we're going to set twice, 1018, and we cross-check, we have at 1018, 380 feet, 380 feet, 380 feet, which is approximately the altitude of the airport also.
and we go into the Delta, the Yankee routing. So the first point after takeoff will be a, uh, a point that I have programmed myself, which is called, which is called Echo Delta Foxtrot Echo Yankee. That's the last point on the Yankee routing, and we have put this one in. And now we're all set. If in case of engine failure, we have always the possibility from a certain altitude on to do a turn back and land um, uh, in the opposite direction right. on the runway. We just have to form ATC. Therefore, we set the minimum. We have 400 feet here, and we need uh, 1,400 feet for the turn back procedure. So we actually need 1,800 feet to be safe. This will remind us, this minimum will remind us until when we can do the turn back procedure. We can even do it a little bit further. We have to climb with 140 knots in order to have enough altitude to come back. Okay, got All right, it. continue. Uh, so engine, uh, engine starting is done because external power is disconnected. So next one, before taxi, flaps 50%. Check, coming. Ice protection switches, check for one minute. All eyes on and we check for one minute. Go ahead. Um, Ice protection system as required. We are this up. Internal separator open as required. Okay, it's coming up. We're waiting for the one minute. Go so continue, continue. So shaker and pusher. We okay, now we do the shaker. Test. The pusher test actually helps us in case the uh, the airplane is too small, too slow, uh, so it will stall. First, the uh, the stick will shake, and after it shakes, it will push the nose of the airplane down Got so it. that we don't stall and you know flip over to our back and just uh, go into the ground and this uh, has to be done tested before every flight. So we have to run up the ITT a little bit, or the torque, push the button, it shakes once, it shakes twice, and now it pushes. I override the pusher, I let go, and I get an, a warning, and this warning tells us that this test is okay. All right, continue. And uh, the ice test is finished, uh, one minute is done, so we go back, we switch off all the ice, except the inertial separator we go. Okay, got it. So PFD, MFD, CAS, SS, no flags, warnings, uh, CAS check. Okay, it's all fine. PFD engine window, check T1. Checked is 18 degrees. It uh, corresponds approximately with the outside temperature. Got it. So next one, taxi. External lights is required. Taxi light is on. Okay, PAX Delta, one, Fox Uniform, PAX you warning uh, switches holding on. Run, holding uh, runway, holding point zero eight. Okay, go ahead. Uh, PAX warning switches on, hat man gesagt. Parking brake handle, knee release. Yes, release, check. Uh, brakes, check. I check my brakes left, check my brakes right, check both, check yours. Check. Yeah. Okay, let go. Uh, power control lever, check uh, beta, max. Checking beta, that's kind of like a reverse of an Idle. airplane. I can actually change the pitch of the I can actually change the pitch of the the propeller and that will brake uh, even better than the normal brakes on the wheels. Got it. And I can use both. Okay. Turning to the right, ball to the left once twice, gyro is increasing once twice and uh, ADI is steady and we have zero airspeed. Okay, display units compare uh, ADI uh, HDG All checked. Speeds, altitudes, no flags. Checked. Okay. There's a turning option coming up. Left side clear, right side clear, turning right towards holding point zero eight. Got it. Next one, before departure. Okay, wait for before departure. We now concentrate on the taxi. Sometimes you just push the pedals all the way to the floor, and if it doesn't I see work, it. then you help a little bit with the brakes. Yeah, got it. It's like with the small planes. This airplane, it's the new PC-12 NGX. It's actually the first and the only one that has been in delivered in Europe so far. Um, has a so-called auto throttle so I don't have to I have to supervise the throttle lever but I don't have to do anything anymore because it's all programmed as long as the auto throttle is in the FMS mode in the flight management system mode then all the speeds uh, will be given um, as I have programmed them
change the run rate because we said we're leaving 26, but we're leaving 08. So we have to activate that again. There's two planes in front of us. They're most likely piston engines, so they have to do their run up, so that will give us some time to finish our preparation. Normally we can could we could cut in because it would normally give us the right of way, um, but we're just gonna line up behind them and wait until they're gone. Good conditions, I would say. Yeah. Keeping a bit of distance because they have their propeller running, so when we get too close and they do their run up, they have to spool up their engines. It's going to send back a lot of dirt and little stones and pebbles, so that could harm our color and could harm our prop. So we set the parking back here. Okay, go ahead. Taxiing with the fifth uh, right? Before departure, uh, takeoff power settings calculated. Checked. Engine instruments checked. All green. Uh, flaps 15%. Set and indicated. Okay, 30% for short TO. Check. Uh, trims, set green range. Three times green, check. Fuel quantity, check. Check and efficient. Uh, CPCS, check con uh, correct All set. All set, 130 feet for Echo Delta. Uh, Battery Delta charging Delta. current below 30 amps. Check. Um, flight controls, full, free and correct. The left side up, fuel cap is closed. Check if right side is down. Right side is it's down. It's down, it's down. Free and yeah. left side is down. Right side is up. And is your fuel cap closed? It's closed. Okay, check. Uh, Radio navigation, FD clearance, set and checked. Checked. So we're going to switch to COM1. And uh, all set, yes. Mm -hmm. So then we have here DEP emerging briefing completed. Okay. This side is not really. We're going to switch COM2 to the emergency frequency, so in case we have a problem with the radio, they can always reach us on the 121.5, which is the emergency yeah, frequency. Yeah, got it. go back to COM1, because when advised, we have to switch from the, uh, to from the airport, 118.405, we have to switch to 120.805, that's air traffic control, which helps us on the way. Now we have to be careful, because when these little planes start in front of us, they're considerably slow, slower than us, so we have to give them some time to get out of the way, otherwise we just eat them from behind. Behind the Akita we will line up behind and um, uh, we do the accurate, obviously. So we can do the flight director and we do enough mode and we do the auto throttle. Okay. Auto throttle will be done once we line up. Then it will be, will be green again. Or yes. as well. No, not there, it will only be green here. So lots of information all the time. We're waiting for this plane, and behind this plane we line up. Yeah, a kilo. Lining up. The approach sector is clear. Strobe lights go on. Runway is identified, 08, on the HSI. And we have the NAV mode, the go run mode, the auto throttle. We have 1500 set and the turn back attitude is uh, 1800. And uh, when advised, 120825. Delta Fox uniform, you may need departed. Put the auto throttle in from 50% on, it's going to take over by itself. Takeoff power is set and indicated. Airspeed becomes alive. 40, 50, 50 60, 70. And rotate, we slowly rotate.
the brake, the brakes gear up, your damper on, up 100, flaps up, we're waiting for 400 feet on the radar altimeter, and we put in the autopilot, Radar, Delta Fox uniform, the main gear high on the Yankee Rudy 1500 feet, 1018 score for T71. 060 and later on left turn, November Victor score. We have auto throttle, we have heading, autopilot, yaw damper, we're flying 060 and uh, we're waiting for left turn to November Victor score. So all set. Delta Dimania suggests heading 340. Heading T40 again. Changing to T40. And climbing and flat in the land zone. And next waypoint is in that place. Where did you change the 340? Uh, huh? Where did you. Yeah. I got it. Oh, ah, yeah, here. Heading? I got it. I got it. I got it. So it does it by itself. Is that one adjustable? No. So it stays always like this? Stay, you can adjust the pedals. Clear. But nothing else. One hundred November Victor Oscar and actually if possible you'd like to climb the flat with one eight zero. So we're going to November Whiskey Oscar, we're going to the North Mall, clear to Munching Gladbach via November Whiskey uh, Oscar and we're ready for power back for now climb the flat number one. Probes have to go on when it comes out. So now we're climbing to flat level 180, we're passing flat level 60 now. We can always switch the barrels to the standard QNH of 1013. Can you do the climb checklist, please? Sure. Ice protection system is as required, autopilot is as required. We're going to uh, November Whiskey Oscar. We're on the NAF board and we have auto throttle. Power control device is on MCP, checked. ACSP is uh, all on auto, cabin pressure monitor. It's uh, differential pressure 279, that's okay. Engine instruments monitor all green. Torque max 448, checked. ITT max 825, checked. NG max 104, checked. And bar set and cross check. Passing flight level 81 now, checked. And uh, on the standby, passing 8250 now, checked as well. Next is. Uh, cruise. Cruise. Okay. So you tell me. Check which uh, landing we have. Delta Dimania stand by fire. What is the NG? I don't know that. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on, 1000 to go. The NG? Yeah. The NG is this one here. Okay. NG, torque and ITT. Okay. 
back at it. Reaching flat level 100, so unfortunately we have to level out now. So just in time before leveling off, he told us to climb higher, which is captured now. So we have the nav mode, the autopilot, yaw damper, flight level change mode, auto throttle, and we climb to flight level 180 inbound, and then we just keep Here we go, this matching lap area, that's a map. We have runway 13 in use, and that's an RP approach. We're gonna check what else they have. They have RP 13, VOR, so we're gonna fly the RP 13, that's okay. So we have to check the compare the channel. The channel is E13A, that's the right channel, that's okay. We're gonna look at the minimums. 27625, we made your job. 127625, swap and close. Radar, Delta Fox Uniform, we made Servus, inbound, November, Whiskey Oscar, passing flight number 123, climbing flight number 180. We're going to split the screen. We're going to set the minimum, which is important. It's a very low minimum of 520 feet. So we're going to go down here. If we don't see the runway because of clouds at 520 feet, then we have to go to a go run. We can't land. That's okay. And we look at the header again. And uh, we have an MSA of 2,800 feet yeah. around. Airport elevation is 125, which is set 130. to the final approach course and a missed approach in case something goes wrong climb on track 127 so that's runway heading we climb straight ahead to LN409 or 1500 whichever is later so we're going to climb to LN409 because we're going to climb uh, fast then turn right to MHV climbing to 2000 so go around altitude is 2000 okay. and we go straight ahead and then do a right turn into MHV okay okay and um, they're going to give us vectors to intercept this, uh, most likely to this point, LN400. I'm quite sure. So uh, we have checked the missed approach. The missed approach was here, runway 13. We climbed to Suvik. And then after Suvik, we go approach of runway 13 to LN409 and then we do a right turn into MHV. So that's okay. And before that we're now flying into NVO. Uh, most likely afterwards Inla, Gaspi, but we see and then at some point we're gonna get vectors. And uh, to top of climb is coming up. Not so many planes out here, huh? No, uh, not at the moment. It's very calm because of the corona. Corona. Flight room 180, 1000 to go checked. On standard. Especially when you start with that kind of career, it's a lot of information to it is a lot get of into your brain. Yeah. It is a lot of information. So this is where Zubik is. Leveling off at flight number 180, checked. Yeah, it's a very nice plane. It's comfortable because you don't have to use oxygen to go to higher flight levels. 
that actually helps a lot. It's fast, it goes uh, approximately 300 knots, and the best thing is uh, it has very short takeoff and landing performances, meaning you can land pretty much anywhere. So what I normally do is when I, whenever I want to go somewhere, I look up the city or the place where I want to go, and then I look at the nearest airport, not at the next biggest, but at the nearest airport, and um, I immediately, I, most of the time I can land there no matter how small the airport is. So it gives you in Europe approximately, I don't know, I have to guess probably 10 to 15,000 more airports than you have when you fly a jet or uh, another performance airplane. My career, I'm playing, flying since four years. I'm flying helicopters, uh, an Airbus H125, known as an AS350, which is a lot of fun. And I also fly planes, obviously, and I have my IFR rating, which I just got half a year ago. I have about 400 hours on the helicopter and I have about 500 hours on the plane. I would say I'm quite close because I already had three hours. That's not bad. <laughs> but actually the, the good thing is always if you have your own plane then you know hours build up much quicker than if you always have to charter one. So let's put in quickly here uh, the ILS because they have a DME there and once I have the DME I can better see the distances. DME would be 1125. I put that in my nav. 21125. One, Swap and close. And then I put this into the DME. Okay. And we prepare also the ILS. But what we can do now, which makes sense, we can listen at the ATIS. 1098. Have you ever landed at Magic Lapa or the first time? Uh, the first time. Actually, we're going to use the data link to get it. Um, the data link, weather, terminal weather. Take the weather. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I pulled it up. Okay. I pulled it up via the, the data link. So the meter so is So it's uh, zero 0.70, zero, the wind 4 knots, carbock, that's okay, no clouds, temperature is 19, QNH is 1019. You can already note that. The setting flat at 100 delta wind. Cologne radar, Delta Fox uniform Romania, hello. Uh, inbound November Bisky Oscar, passing flat at 172, descending flat at so we have one way one three programmed and we are on approach. Yeah. So you tell me when we Delta the Fox Uniform you here for your information we'd like to do the on of approach one way one three Eight is briefing received performed as done. Ice protection system as required. Uh, ice protection system, yes, go ahead. Uh, power control lever set to desired torque. Checked. Either. CPCS system window, check LFE set. Checked. Passengers, brief sign on. Checked. Long uh, next would be approach. Okay, stand, uh, stand on. That was a quick one. Probably not there yet. Yeah. So, what is the career question? Um, yeah, for me, it's just a theory right now, and I try to solve as much as possible. So, COVID is kind of, help, kind of helpful therefore and I try to uh, get this all done within the next couple of months and then yeah start flying very shortly and then we see what happens and now we go to Mönchengladbach to have a test flight with another plane that's what we do the sending flight level 70 Seven zero is chat uh, set and cross checked. And leveling off in flight level seven zero on standard QNH. See if we don't put it on standard QNH but on the one zero one nine that's it's actually gonna come up later. That's a QNH on the ground in matching blood bath and not the standard one that uh, goes up to the higher flight levels. Um, then we would have the right the wrong altitude. So it's always very very important to say we climb, we descend to flight level 70 on standard QNH, or we descend into altitude 5,000 feet on QNH 1019. Because there, it has to be related to. Always have to make sure that you get. Yeah, that you 
fly on the right level. Yeah. Auto throttle is going back to 170. That's the speed we have programmed, and we are there this one. So we have enough autopilot yaw damper, altitude, hold, and auto throttle speed. We could go much faster now, but um, just because it's a small airport, first time I go there, we have the cameras on. I've decided to go a little bit. Uh, and also we and also we're not in a rush, yeah. so we have plenty of time. So the auto throttle is kind of new for that. Uh, it's new for this kind of plane. Okay. Um, it's coming more and more now, but. Uh, I can actually set that up a little bit higher. So at some point he's going to give us uh, vectors, the tower frequency we can already change. Because we're close, yeah. Tower 120455, I think that's going to be the next one. 120455, enter. So we have this one, is there a ground frequency as well? 12193, we can put that into column 2. 12193, and we have that instead of that. So we're all set. In case. So when do you contact tower now? It's like in uh, a couple they tell of minutes. Us, they tell us. Yeah. They gonna, tell you. They're gonna get us to the first point of the approach. Then you change. And then they tell us, please contact now. Makes and it's sense. Gonna be one to zero four five five. Makes sense. That's the route we flew last time. We went to Berkheim, which is close to Cologne. Yep. With a Chesna Caravan. Very nice plane. So I, I, I wonder how you would like the Quest Kodiak. I, I would before. I would think that the Chestnut Caravan is more sturdy, more solid, and you will that, that you will like it more. But um, you know, that's to be seen. I think they should be more or less the same. Um, there is not such, such a big difference. Uh, the landing piece can be much shorter for the Quest Oh, uh, Much shorter. Okay, much that's shorter. A, that's a big advantage. And yeah. speed wise, they're about the same. And they have oxygen, not in a cabin, but uh, for each seat. Okay, but uh, that has the Chesna as well. Uh, yeah, not pre-installed. Uh, no? No, I don't think so. Uh, I believe so, but I'm not too sure. I wouldn't bet on it. Okay, we're going 210 knots now. Another point and is... And actually, we'll tell them at LN400, you see that? We want to be at 150 knots, you see? Yeah. So we're going 230 knots now, and then automatically it's going to slow down to 150 automatic on the next stage yeah. so then it will reduce exactly. once itself. we reach get uh, gatsby it, it goes at 400 it changed to 150 and then it's going to speed up again to 290 and then on the delta fox uniform lima india flight level 70 inbound gatsby continue present heading and rmp approach runway one three information is kilo delta fox uniform lima india Thank you, Mama. <laughs> so we are on the FMS-1, and we're flying the heading 300. There's a huge construction site on my left side. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to give you a picture of it, because I've never seen a big construction site like that. It's enormous. Check this out. That's our property. Check this out. <laughs> it's yeah. huge. Which one's yours? This one. This one here? Okay. But check this one out.
right to 310 Lima. So now what we do is sterile cockpit. From now on, we're getting closer to the airport and we land soon. So we, we speak only about the approach. Makes sense. Um, and about nothing else. That this way we don't get distracted and uh, uh, the chance to oversee things is much more. Yeah, it's more important than anything else. 1020 was the last ATIS, which is okay. The next one's coming up. 1050, it's now 1038. So that's fine. Sending 2,109. Yeah. QNH one zero one nine. Now. 
a bit bumpy because now the air the yes. air is getting hotter. If as soon as the air starts climbing. Zero nine zero, clear now B one three will go Delta Fox is one minute. Right. Zero nine zero. Changes right now. Zero nine zero set, we're in the heading mode. And yeah. as soon and we do push approach. And this way as soon as we intercept this one. We will call them and tell them that we are fully established and then he will pass us over to the tower. You want me to read the approach right now? Yes, please. So it's altimeter set. Checked. Uh, ice protection system as required. Checked. Uh, inert inert Checked. set. Checked. Uh, fuel quantity. Checked. Uh, landing gear down. Uh, not yet. Here to go. Um, taxi landing lights. Uh, ch uh, check. Come. Uh, flaps. Yeah. Yeah. Conditions. Yeah. conditions. So final, final to go. Okay. So flaps, gear, and lights. So landing gear down. Data. So it should get us on this final. Yeah. Uh, At Suvik, we can check. Once we reach Suvik, must have an altitude of 1,000 and then we start sinking. Yep. Where do you see the 1,000? 2,000. Two, 2, 2, two. that's what he said, yeah. So now we're coming in here with the localizer, we're coming in for the glide slope. We're going to track go, uh, in the LPV approach and the virtual glide path and the vertical tracker earth is coming in as well. So now we can tell them. There's a Fox uniformly made here, fully established on the RMP approach, runway 1-3. So now we start sinking. We had Suvik and it starts sinking, so that's good. And uh, we can look out the runway is even inside because we don't have any clouds, otherwise, we could go, go down. And at 520 feet, we must see the runway, otherwise, we cannot continue. We have to do the go around, which is straight ahead and then right turn into MHV. Um, we have to keep that in mind in case the runway is blocked. Okay? So we're at 150 feet, uh, the gear speed is reached and the flap speed is reached, so we do flaps 1.5 first, after we have checked the speed. We've done that, the flaps are in transition. Okay, you want me to go to the final right now? Hold on one second, and we do the gear as well. Yes, right. Landing gear? No. Okay, there's somebody behind this. Okay, go ahead with the... So final. Landing, landing gear, three green lights. Checked. Okay, uh, the flaps set as required. One five. Okay, cabin pre pressurization. Checked. Uh, speed, DSP center. Checked. Uh, APAT, YD dis disengaged. Checked. Checked. That's it, next is after that. We land with flaps 40. Traffic, traffic. Because it seems to be a very short, seems to be a very short runway, so we land with flaps 40. We keep the automation in until about 400 feet above ground, and then we kick out the auto throttle and the uh, and the autopilot, and then we fly by air. Okay. Because this plane shall not auto land. This is only when you fly the very big planes. You can put the checklist away. Put your hands on the on the stick. 520 minimums continue. And we throw an auto throttle and autopilot. Fly the dynamic speed bump.
war ja einfach den Parking im Ende. in der Weg hätte. So, after landing, please. Okay, after landing, flaps up. Checked. Trims, set green range. Checked three times. Uh, external lights as required. Checked. Ice protection system off. Checked. Transponder, stand by or check GND. Checked. WX radar standby. Checked. Shut down later. Checked. Die Mania Rheinland Air Service ist äh, hier auf meiner Linken wahrscheinlich, oder? Hinter der zweiten Halle links. Okay, danke. Da steht doch schon die Kohle. Die rote, oder was? Ja. Schöner Gelände war. Okay, Shutdown. Okay, Power Control Lever. Idle, detect uh, for two minutes. Okay, checked. Uh, parking, brake angle. Checked, set. Uh, ice protection system off. Checked. Inert zap. Checked, open. open. Engine switch off. Checked. External lights off. Checked. Packs warning switches off. Checked. Main oxygen lever off. Checked. Cas oil quantity check. One warning, one minute checked. W yeah, after warning, after one minute. And just refill if required. That's it. After the day's first beautiful flight on this brand new PC12 NGX. Our team now crosses the little RAS apron over to the two beautiful demonstrator aircraft of the Kodiak. Alex, our potential buyer, is having a first inspection walk around the aircraft. This beautiful red airframe used to serve in island services in northern Germany, North Sea Islands, until recently. And uh, look at this huge door in the rear. You can hang out the door entirely. So it's very easy to take out seats if you want to carry bicycles or anything. This aircraft has actually been designed originally in line with the requirements of a huge parcel forwarding company. And uh, this door feature was important for them to um, bring the pallets of cargo straight into the aircraft without risking any damage to it. And now before we start our demonstration flight, let's have a little group picture here in front of it. All right, and here we go, Delta F Fox, the green designed Kodiak aircraft will be ready in a second to take us along for an interesting flight with a couple of demonstrations. You will see short takeoff and landing capabilities, super low speed flying, steep turns, and also it's particularly important that Alex gets a feeling for this aircraft. Here we have Frank, the salesperson and flight instructor for this ride. And he's getting the aircraft pe prepared now while Alex sends home a few first pictures of this nice aircraft that may be the one for his family. Now, startup time. modern cockpit here three huge screens that show all the flight instrumentation it's like in a big jet So we 
short taxi to the runway and we are now taxiing alongside two amphibian Kodiaks. That's a very nice feature. It only takes three working days to transform a regular aircraft like this one into the amphibian version that you can see here right now. Really beautiful and very flexible. at the threshold of the runway now in a moment take a look at the very very short takeoff distance that is going to be required for our takeoff it's a very very powerful turbine aircraft lining up runway 13 at Mönchengladbach just before takeoff, we are gonna have a few short system checks, a little bit of a run up. to go. Right after takeoff, we are turning left now for a more northerly direction into our demonstration flight area, pretty much opposite the runway direction. And as you can see here, there's beautiful views to be enjoyed out of the windows, large windows everywhere. So it's really a beautiful aircraft, both for pilots and for passengers. Backdrop you can see Mönchengladbach Airport right now. Let's have a closer look right in a moment. And here we are almost reaching our altitude of 1500 feet. Here's the airport again. So that's a bit of our geographic position. We are at 150 knots speed right now, 1400 feet altitude and that should be fine for us now always enjoyable these fantastic views from the passenger cabin down to the landing gear most F geeks will enjoy that and it's time for Alex to have a little bit of a feeling for how the aircraft is behaving in the air a very luxurious cabin, great leather seats, fantastic windows, very roomy and as I said before can be configured flexibly. But that's on Alex, family and friends to decide should he buy this aircraft. Now it's time for him to play a little bit around with it, do a first turn and get a better feeling for the behavior of the aircraft up in the air. It's understood to be a very friendly aircraft, very easy to maneuver. is hidden behind the mask but I feel we can see a bit of fascination and a lot of appreciation already. Let's continue the program. A few more turns. Down there you can see more mining industry that we've already seen on the first flight from Frankfurt Egelsbach over to Mönchengladbach. It's a lot of coal mining and coal industry in that area of Germany. It's 
time for the next maneuver. Slowly we are lowering the flaps. Frank is reducing the speed. There's a lot of trimming going on to adjust to the new speeds and flap setting. Lowering the flaps even further now, down to the maximum. And in a moment from now you can already see the pitch here. It's quite a quite an angle and you will hear the stall warning in a moment when we go down to as little as 60 something knots. Here we are. A very friendly and safe aircraft. speed up again very powerful engine so it doesn't take a lot of time until the flaps can be raised again which you can see here now and off we go to the next maneuver time for a couple of steep turns right now Frank is already preparing the aircraft for the upcoming landing back into Mönchengladbach, which is going to be a very special landing. You will enjoy that. It's a, it's a spot-on landing from a very high altitude. We'll start with a steep turn at 2,000 feet and then dive really, really steep. And then again at low speed and we will however use very little runway so uh, that's amazing to watch here we already arrive at the airport we will do one circle on our flight level that we have right now before the um, special approach is going to be initiated enjoy Deep descent gets initiated and Frank looks very routine. He has done that before, I'm sure. Very impressive for Alex for sure to see the capabilities of these aircraft. Once more confirming to him that he could flexibly use it to virtually any short airstrip that could be served by a Cessna 172 or so as well with this aircraft with up to 10 persons on board, family and friends. Really nice. a short landing distance that could have been my garden actually now uh, it's a short taxi back to the facilities of uh, Rhineland air service 
the last demonstration will be the taxiing, doing a nice circle on a very little area, giving you a good glimpse of the huge maneuverability of this aircraft. Look at this, you could use it at small airports easily. Now what we are not going to find out today is whether Alex will decide for buying this aircraft yes or no. But if you look into if you look into Alex's face in a moment when he disembarks the aircraft, you get a little bit of an idea whether he liked it or not. After this beautiful flight on the Kodiak, it's time to get back on board of our PC-12 NGX back to Frankfurt Egelsbach Airport. This time we will have Hans on the first officer's seat again. Aircraft owner Uli will fly this aircraft single hand, so it's a passenger on the right seat. But also Hans will help Uli to do the checklists and so on. And uh, you will again have the chance to have an interesting conversation and lots of explanations. Enjoy. Mach dir mal die Tür zu, die Passenger Door, bitte. Der Fox Uniform der Mania, Fox Panda. Alpha, flight plan route uh, initiated at higher than 2000. Delta, Fox Uniform Dimania, ready for taxi. 1 3, holding point Alpha Bravo Dimania. We got the clearance, we've set up our flight management system. 
and um, got all the information we need. So now via Alpha and Bravo to holding point runway one three, and then we're ready to go. Alpha and Bravo coming up. Right side is clear. Left side is clear. Okay, brakes were checked. Turning to the left. Ball to the right once, twice. Yeah, it's steady. No airspeed. The Otherwise, check engine instruments are good. Flight controls, left side up, right side down, right side down, left side up. Well, others. Check this a bit, Ramon. Lights as required. Humber alles, zack, gib mal Vollgas. Transponder, Runde ist identified, Cast Window, no messages, take off, leader inhibit, power control over take off, and so on and so on. Okay. Set the runway heading for 1 3. You have to remember to identify it. Runway 1 3, 2000 feet, after airborne 128555, and here we have the standard instrument departure. Delta Fox Uniform to Mania, holding point, runway 08, ready for departure. Behind the Kila, line up and wait behind. Delta Fox Uniform to Mania. Alle Lichter sind an. Und los geht's. Wir sind im NAV-Mode, go around auto throttle. 2000 is set, and when advised, 128555. We have all the lights, and we have the ice protection. Checked and we are NAV mode, autopilot, yaw damper, flight level change, climbing to 150 flight level, and the auto throttle is activated, and we are on the Cola 3 Alpha departure. Unfortunately, we don't see the plane on this one, which worries me a bit because normally we should see it on there, but we've cross checked it, so we'll be okay. Straight ahead into DM93 MHD, so that's still a bit to go. The DME we have set. Turn left, intercept GMH, radial 265, inbound to D31, GMH, turn right. Okay, that's all set. 
checked. We're climbing with 140, which is preset in the flight management system via the auto throttle. Probe's on. May I have to check this, please? Thank you. We are in the climb mode. Ice protection is required, autopilot is required, power control is MCP is checked, bleed air switches are all okay, cabin pressure monitor, differential pressure is 1.4, that's okay, and Eagle Spot is set with 390, engine instrument monitor, all instrument, engine instruments in green, Barrow is set and cross check, we're going to standard already, passing 3900, coming up now, 3900 is checked, and coming up 4000, now checked also, so all three Barrows are okay, and the next will be cruise. We have a message that might be... How long does it take? Um, it takes about, hold on, I'll tell you... It takes about, flight time, 46 minutes. What but we're going to speed it up a little bit. This time, because we're flying home. We're going to give it 240 knots. Okay, the beauty of this airplane is actually that you have auto throttle and that you have larger windows and that you have FADEC. FADEC means that all the engine instruments are pretty much controlled by uh, a computer and not by yourself. So, especially during startup, if you have to control it by yourself, it's very easy to burn your turbine. Because when the hot gases come in and uh, you add fuel too late or too soon, uh, it's very simple to ruin your turbine, which costs approximately 2 million euros. It can be done in 10 seconds. That's cool. So for a pilot, uh, a private pilot like me who doesn't fly so often, it's much better to have a FADEC, a fully automated um, digital engine control. Because then you just push the start button and all the rest is automated. But the view outside here, it's so perfect. Be beautiful, huh? beautiful. Yeah, especially in the cabin, we have the larger windows now, uh, yeah. which makes sense. And we proceed next, direct metro. Delta Fox uniformly media servos inbound metro passing flight level 100 climbing flight level 150. At the end, you know, all the avionics kind of like work the same way. It's kind of losing a Samsung or an iPhone. Uh, once you use, you know, how to use an iPhone, you also know a little bit how to use a Samsung. You have to get used to it. It's, it's slower. It, uh, you know, but uh, after all, it's all the same functions. Okay, for me, it's a little different between yeah, because the iPhone yeah, yeah. and what, what I see here now. Yeah, I see, uh, Flight plan a little bit. Now I'm checking the ages of Frankfurt. Oh, we could see here outside the Köln at home. At the right side. Yeah. Ages Frankfurt 118030. So we check out which runway. Yeah. Runway 26 in Frankfurt. That means 2.5 in Frankfurt, so we most likely have 2.6 in Egelsbach. Where we have 2.6 in Egelsbach, that means that we come in via Yankee. So after Metro, most likely, we're going to go directly to Yankee.
The feeling here, it's like in a jet. It's the same thing. It's uh, it's, a, it's a bigger cabin than in the 1000 to go check. It's the same. Uh, it's a bigger cabin than in the same size jet. The only thing you have one engine, so if that one fails, then you have a problem. But it sinks at very slow speeds, and um, it can actually be landed on any grass field that is longer than maybe 300, 400 meters. So on any uh, on any cornfield or something, you can bring the airplane down. And also you have a button here which called which called nearest, which shows you the next closest airports. Okay. With a little track. And there you see already here how many airports there are that you can reach. Normally we fly at flight level two, flight level 300, which we don't do at the moment because um, uh, because it's such a short flight. But uh, 210 is uh, is a good compromise. So when you see here at the map, we have the top of climb here, and then right after it's kind of like a flight like this. You go to the okay. top of climb, do a little bit in level flight, and then we already go down again. Okay. Here on the white side there's the uh, Köln. Well, Bot Airport, which oh, okay. is really empty. Yeah, they're all because, empty. Because uh, now we have Corona. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, flying in the Corona times is not the best because you don't really have a lot of destinations. But um, you know, as a pilot, you can still go pretty much anywhere in Europe, and you have a 72-hour layout layover period. Uh, you just cannot leave the plane, or you cannot leave leave the the airport. Uh, in some countries, and others you can. No, but it's a beautiful plane, and you know, we test we test through the Quest Kodiak now, where, which in which Axel is interested. Nice plane, but I think I like the. The Chestnut Caravan, or for somebody that has the money left and um, that wants to have a turbine airplane uh, to use after he achieves his PPL. The guy that sold it was saying that even in the ASA countries so or Germany, you need 200 hours after your PPL and 70 hours uh, pilot in command. To my information, you can fly directly after you have achieved your PPL, so that would have to be seen. Um, but the, the advantage of a turbine airplane is obviously it's much more safe than the piston engine because a piston engine, an engine will fail on you um, on average about once every 200,000 hours and a turbine an engine will fail on you once every maybe 3 million hours. So having a turbine engine is really good life insurance. So now you ask us where are you intend, intending to cancel your IFR flight because now we are under instrument flight rules but uh, Egelsbach, Echo Delta, Fox, Echo does not have an instrument approach. So once we approach the airport, we at some, at some point have to say, this is enough of instrument flight rules, we go visual flight rules. Set the approach angle, which is 3.8, this way we don't crash into the woods. I'm going to explain you in a second what we did here. So what we can set here, you check, this is the Yankee point, kind of like the prolongation of the runway. And we want to be there at 1500 feet with 150 knots. We go there with a three recline uh, descent angle. And uh, I'm now sending a beam from runway 26 up in the sky. And we come from the Yankee point with our plane, which hits this beam, and then okay. follows this beam down to the Automatically. Runway. Automatically, exactly. 1,000 to go, so now it's 200 to go, checked, and altitude capture mode is active, capturing flight level 210. So now slowly, slowly, we're going to the cruise flight. Every pressurization is fine. Power control if I set according to cruise table is checked, it's all auto throttle, engine instruments all in green, fuel state monitor, we have a thousand pounds left, that's okay. Planning flat level one for the limit, yeah. So now it's ascending automatically. I told him we want to go to uh, to the Yankee point at 1500 feet and a vertical direct from here. So it's now going on a 2.68 uh, degree angle from present position down to the Yankee point at 1500. But we only clear to flight level 140, so we have to see once he reaches the 140 that he gives us a lower altitude, otherwise do another bit of level flight. <coughs> Yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to see if Axel is going to play in for himself or he's going to keep chartering or 
uh, and which one he's going to buy. I think for his family it's going to be a great thing. You know, there are always four people with the girlfriends of his two sons. There are going to be six people, probably one or two other couples, eight or ten people. So for him it would be the perfect uh, plane to go around Europe. It's slow, but slow sometimes is good, especially when you don't have so much experience. Uh, I think for him it would be a good choice and uh, would really give him more uh, happiness in life if he owns his own plane. 1016 down 5000 to media. So 1016 is set and descending to 5000 feet, so they get us down quite nicely. We need 1500 at Yankee. So descent checklist, ATIS briefing is performed, as protection system is required. Uh, the inertial separator is to go. Power control lever is auto throttle, CPCS is set Eaglesbach 390 feet, passengers brief sign. For you, it's a lot of information huh, that you don't fly regularly. The main thing is that uh, feeling really safe with you as a pilot. That's very kind of you. Thank you. That's my aim. How many how many hours uh, did you fly? Uh, I flew 500 in a helicopter in an Airbus uh, AS350, and I flew 500 in the plane so far. So altogether, I've been in the air around aviation for 1,000 hours now. I've started three and a half years ago, flying as a, that's as a, lot. a, pedest that's as a lot. pedestrian, yeah. but it's been a long way and a lot of studying, but it uh, gives me great pleasure. And I can only recommend for anybody to try it, either for helicopter or for planes. It, uh, it really puts you on to another level. But you need to know what you're doing, otherwise it gets dangerous. But if you have a good flight school and a good flight instructor, and then afterwards, if you fly with an experienced friend, with, which I did, with Torun Zakar, a friend of mine who was a dentist and a pilot, he really taught me a lot, and we taught each other actually, because we flew together and four eyes always see more than only two eyes. Every time it's good if you have a good counterpart, yeah? Definitely. Maybe in business or in flying, it's always the same, taking good decisions. 3000 on board, event, yeah. We have to go vertical speed. And now we put him on the head a little bit because we're not descending fast enough for him because we're going to go into the Frankfurt airspace. It's a great plane, the new Pilatus 20805, ciao, danke, Limania. Radar, Delta Fox Uniform, Limania, high inbound metro, passing flight level 108, descending 5,000 feet on 1016. Maintaining heading, Limania. Sometimes uh, you could uh, mean that uh, Uli is uh, a salesman okay. from Pilatus. Yes, because I've made a big, big market research before I bought this plane, because for me it's a ton of money to buy it, and I didn't want to do the wrong choice. And it's, uh, it's a Cessna Citation Jet CJ2 Plus prior to this one, uh, which unfortunately had an accident, not with me as a pilot, but with somebody else. And um, so I went back to the start and uh, said, I really need to choose the right one for all the small airplanes, airports that I'm going to. One zero one five is checked. Five thousand. Two hundred feet to go. Leveling off. Sending to three thousand feet, Dimension. Three thousand one six zero, Dimension. Delta Fox Uniform in India. Staying clear, cancelled, in India. Eaglesbach, Delta Fox Uniform in India. Servus approaching Yankee, uh, 1500 feet, 1015, triple four one and uh, 26. 1016, Delta Fox Uniform in India, the Yankee is verkauft. We're in enough mode, and we're going to go to approach, and then it should lead us straight on, and then at some time it should start a descent. 
So let's see if it does the approach, because it's a visual approach function in this one, which is not an instrument approach, uh, which is being published by EASA. Um, but it's an approach that's actually done by Pilatus, which I have programmed. And let's see if it does it. Normally goes to Echo Delta, Fox at Echo Yankee Point, overshoots a little bit, and then comes back to the prolonged final of the runway 26. And it does exactly that, I hope. Yankee in 400 meters. And then it should turn right. So now it does it, I hope. a little bit slower because there's another plane coming. It's 140 nets and uh, flap speed is checked. We're gonna go flaps 15 so we're more stable in the air. Thirty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. It was 
not a nice landing. You start bouncing in a PC-12, then you know that you've done something wrong. But I'm still getting used. And uh, now they're making fun of me. Welcome back to Frankfurt, huh? Shop to Ludwig in Gladbach, some airplane shopping. Eat uh, 35 minutes. Okay, that's good, huh? I'm actually gonna ride my bike back home now. Take some of my stuff? Huh? Did you take home some of my stuff? My bike? Sure, no problem. Want to go back by bike? I think so, yes. Okay. Perfect oh. flight. Set by the ground. The radar check complete. Shut down. Power control is idle. Parking brake handle push is not ready. Ice protection system off. Inertia separator. Engine switch off. The one who the Pilatus to spring bring gun. After a beautiful flying day, our PC-12 NGX gets pushed back into Uli's hangar in Egelsbach now for a night rest. You have a good view here at the side cargo door, so it's a very flexibly used aircraft as well. You can add seats, remove seats, add cargo. Thank you very much for joining today. Thank you so much to Uli, Alex, Hans and all the friends of Motorflugschule Egelsbach for making this unique trip possible. It was really amazing. Thanks for watching and uh, if you ever consider buying an aircraft, take a PC-12 or a Kodiak.